Okay, so right now we have a new item. Well, it's not new. It is quite old. There we go. This beautiful first aid kit is probably, well, I don't know how old you are, but it is very old. A nice antique bowl. Oh, is it antique? I don't know what the definition is, but it's from Pure Boots Pure Drugs Limited, Nottingham. Vintage, that's what it is. It's a vintage. It's a nice metal first aid box that contains all original first aid items from back in the days. Oh, geez, this smells. Woo! Let's have a look what it says in here. This, aid, uh, this first aid kit has been specially prepared for presentation with Virtue's household physician. No idea how these people are. Need to lock him up. The contents of this case, subject to very slight modification, are as follows. So we've got clinical thermometer, pink healing ointment, large emergoplast, emergoplast, I don't know. 1 ounce BPC cotton wool, 1 ounce decolorized iodine, 6 safety pins, chamois finger stool, nurse's scissors, 3 finger dressings, 1 bandage 3 inches, 1 bandage 2 inches, 1 bandage 1 inch, boracic acid crystals, whoa, eye bath and sponge, 1 ounce plain lint, half an ounce tincture of iodine, large tube of burnol, and one ounce of sal volatile, and tooth tincture. Complete the car gear advice on first aid in the home. So, here is the box. Here is the first aid in the home. Instructions for everyday emergencies. It gives you instructions for bleeding, burns and scalds, choking, cuts, wounds, abrasions, insect bites and sting and animal bites. Earache, eye, fainting, fits, fracture, poisoning and toothache. So it's quite good. Kind of covers a lot of different bits and pieces that you could need it for in the home. And as it says in here, whenever possible, wash the hands, preferably in warm water with an antiseptic solution before giving treatment to any wound. Most injuries are accompanied by shock, which is alleviated by keeping the patient warm with blankets. But not using a hot water bottle, Stopping a new hemorrhage and giving small drink of hot, well sugared tea. Too much fluid may be harmful. When there is any spitting or vomiting of blood, nothing should be given by mouth. Okay, well, thank you very much, people that made this. Now, let's have a look at the contents. Let's try to figure out what is what. Wasp ease brings instant relief from all insect bite and stings. Okay, I don't even want to try it, but I guess you spray it. Ah, the patent is applied for. It was not given yet by that time. What is this? Finger dressing. BPC. Interesting. Has it been opened? No, oh, it hasn't. 
I don't want to break it. I don't want to break that seal. I don't want to break the seal. Nope, I'm not going to break the seal for now. We'll have another one of them. Ah, this is a bit of cotton. Quite old, as you can see, changed color. And I'm assuming this the bandage. What else do we have in here? Beautiful. This is uh, the nurse's scissors. Okay, now we're getting into the funky stuff. Oral gel. I don't know if you can read it or not. I think it's the precursor to what is it called? Ah, oh, the one they put in the mouth now. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. Bongella, that's what it's called. Yes, Bongella. Let's have a look. Has that been used? Not sure if it has really. I don't even know what the date is like. What's this? That's another finger dressing. So that is three of them. Huh. Boots. And this is a sponge. Hmm. What's that for? I don't even know what this is for. I'll leave you to a bit later. What is in here? Bandage. Again, unopened, and I shall not open it. It's a one inch wide. Elastoplast. Elastic adhesive plaster. In a metal container. Oh, jeez. This stuff is old. It's one yard in length. And it's charged to approximately two yards. Hmm. Cool, isn't it? Ventilated emergoplast flexible first aid dressing for cuts, small wounds, bruises, burns, abrasions, and sore heels. Boots Pure Drug Company Limited, made in England. Again, nice and metal. Let's have a look what's inside. Uh -huh. Plasters. Oh, this is so old. I mean, obviously you can't smell what it smells like, but it smells old. It smells vintage. It smells beautiful. Okay, what have we here? Tooth tincture. Okay, what is that? It's manufactured by Boots Nottingham. I don't even know whether the stuff inside of it is legal anymore or not. How do you use it? Moisture, piece of cotton, oil, a few drops of the tincture, and I'll just go around. I'm making two. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is decayed throughout the cavity with a little cotton wool and fill up with a cotton wool plug soaked in the tincture. Ah, 
so it's like clove oil. Your eyes have expired a bit. Nope. And what is that? That is open wolf bandage. Safety pins. Still sealed. Brassic acid crystals. To make an eye lotion, dissolve two level teaspoonfuls of the crystals in one pint of warm water. What is this? Oh, this look. I don't know if you can see from the color, but it looks so old. What's inside? Oh, crystals. Well, I'm gonna have a whiff. Oh, <coughs> okay. Funky smell. Funky smell. And what is this? like the packaging I mean interesting how they did it decolorized tincture of iodine BPC 1934 when it's bites stain you can apply it to the only my first white water oh this is actually missing a bit I think it's evaporated or maybe it's been used Hold on. oh oh <laughs> <coughs> Smells strong. Uh, so yeah, that's the safety pins. We've got that as well. Well, there's one more safety pin. Then what we got in here? Tincture of iodine for cuts, wounds, abrasions, sprains. Apply to the affected part. Teacher of iodine should not be taken internally except under the direction of a doctor. Oh, I remember this one all the under. Oh, look. What's the same? Oh. I don't know. It's been a while. And what else do I have in here? Another bandage. Oh, it's a bit open. Absorbent lint, special manufacturer in England for the use of surgical dressing. Elastic horse wheel. What? Trusses. Oh, this thing is so old. Did I open this yet? Spirits of Salvatile. Oh, I don't even know what this is for. I don't know. It's a smell. Oh. I guess it smells old. Everything in here smells old. And this is the best thing out of this, I think. It's a clinical thermometer, English made. Okay, that's a lot of wrapping. What's that? Interesting. And this, believe it or not, is a thermometer. And no, you don't use it like this. Open it. 
get it out. Thirty seconds. Does it still work? Let's test it. Well, I can't see anything moving inside. Be warm for a bit more longer. No, I can't see anything moving. Okay, so you go back in there. Back in there. How will you move on that? Like this. And you go back where we got you from. And that's it. This is the contents of this vintage first aid kit that I've had in my possession for a while now. Um, if anyone is interested in having it, or actually, if anyone is interested in Anyone knows a collector, please do let me know. Have a nice day.